Greetings, and in today's video, we're going to learn what data puking is, why it's bad, and how to easily avoid it. Let's dive in. How many times have you been in a meeting and seen slides like these? Whether they are numbers, words, or charts, there is too much data on the screen. The audience doesn't know where to look, they get confused or distracted and start ignoring the presenter as they try and figure out what they are looking at on the screen. It's safe to say neither the audience or presenter are getting what they want from this slide. There is a term for this kind of thing and it's called data puking. It's called that as it looks like someone literally ate a bunch of raw data and pukes it up onto the screen without any thought. And it just looks gross. It's easy to spot if your audience is looking at a data puke slide as one of the following five things will happen. Eye squinting, leaning in, head tilting, confused look, or in the worst case, exploding eyeballs. There are two main ways for you to avoid data puking when making content. The first is to remove as many unnecessary elements as possible. Go check out the video I've made on this topic for more details, but the main principle is to work out what the objective of your visual is. And if bits of your data viz aren't helping you achieve this objective, just remove them. Secondly, if you can't avoid having a lot up on the screen, chances are you don't need it up there all at once. Draw attention to the parts you're talking about at the time by animating them in, fading out old parts, and using pre-attentive attributes to draw the eye. See how your eyes are naturally drawn to the parts that are not faded as they appear. This can easily be done by animating in semi-transparent white shapes on top of the parts you don't want people to focus on anymore. And now you know the perils of data puking, how to spot audience symptoms, and how to avoid doing it in the future. These techniques can be applied to many common visual communications, such as presentations, emails, and data visualizations, helping you to help your audience pay attention and quickly find the right insights on the screen, making your narrative super effective. What's the worst data puke you've experienced? Have you ever accidentally created a data puke? And what were people's reactions? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Until the next time, thank you.